Okay guys, let's take a look at Ashton's swing. Already improving a lot from what we've seen. Just in our first few practices. A couple of things. You might want to take a look at maybe widening the stance a little bit here. Just to be a little more athletic. Probably want to be, you know, at least wider than your shoulders. So if we did that, you know, there's one. So let's maybe put the other one over here somewhere. Give him a little bit more of a base. You'll be surprised with how wide um, the legs are for a swing, typically. Now, as we go into the swing, first thing's going to be the step. One thing is it's going to be really hard to, at, at this age, to repeat this big, huge step. It's a big, big step. And the, the point is, is we want to be able to do things over and over and again the same way. So if you've watched this Starlin Castro, all he does is just a little bitty step to get to right here. Now let's get him to heel plant. There's, he's at that front heel plant, and that's what triggers our swing. I would suggest to Ashton that we've talked about pointing our, fing our, our toe at 45 degrees. Gives us a much sturdier base. Um, and here again, if we had our foot back here to start with, we would probably be in a better hitting position. What you want to see is that your inseam length so from there to your end step of your foot should be the same as what is between the feet here. So we're close, but still could see a little bit wider stance. Uh, I like where he is with the hands and the arms ready to go. So let's stop right here. What's happening is, again, with that front foot, um, it's holding back his hips a little bit. So we can't pull everything through. Whereas the way Starlin has his foot open, you can just see his hips going a lot easier. And you'll notice the back foot over here for Ashton's just quite a bit different because he's not rolling up and onto that toe. Again, that's a hips issue. Also, you might look at the shoulders. Notice how Starlin's shoulders are angled at this point. If you go through direct right contact, his bat, let's erase that last one, his bat and shoulders should be at that same angle just like that. Notice his back foot too, sorry about that. Um, Starlin comes up onto that toe. You'll probably hear us say, bring the heel up and in. And that's the way you want to do it. You, if you've ever heard squish the bug, we don't do squish the bug anymore. We go up with the heel and then in with the heel. And see how your back foot wants to do that. It's just going to take some practice. Okay. And if we don't do our legs a little bit better, then it's hard for our hands to finish correctly. We're pretty good there at contact. Notice, again, Starlin's shoulders are a lot different than Ashton's. So that front elbow could maybe use a little bit of work right up in here. Oh. Um, and then what? let's watch Starlin's finish. So he goes to contact. Now watch what he's going to do with his elbow. He's going to take that elbow through the baseball and then he'll come around. So watch his hands go forward, 
And now he turns his hands over. Not until after that ball is way long gone. Now let's watch Ashton's hands. Boom. They're immediately turning over. So we're going to work on pushing through that before we come through. And now let's watch Starlin's finish on how he finishes with his bat. Big, long arc up and over his shoulder. So we want to do that as well. Let's get that finish up in here behind your head instead of right there in the middle. But you got a really good start going on here. Uh, I would recommend just practicing the stance. And even just sitting at home, you can practice going from your stance just to the point of contact. And you don't have to be actually hitting anything. So you're in your stance, you step, you come through to there. And just lift that back leg up, get back in your stance. Do it again. Right there. Check and see. Here's a couple checks. At contact, do I still have an angle that makes an L with my arm? My front leg should be straightening out and my back leg should be making an angle. Practice that over and over and over again and we'll see where you go with it.